Okay, now we're going to go and complete our sectional left view over here. And for that, we've already gone and drawn in a whole bunch of what we need because we had to use it for the sectional top view. So all we're going to do now is go and take each of our cutting points that we've got in our top view, project it across and up and follow our numbering, and let it meet up with the cutting points that we have in our front view. So we already have two of them, those ones over there. Okay, and we've got to go which of course is that one there and that one there, so we're not going to go and project it again, it's already been projected. We're going to, however, have to project these two. Okay, and then project that straight up. Now those two, well these two that I'm projecting now, came off of B3 and B4. So there's B3, we project that cutting point across and up, and we let it line up on B3, there's B3, and then the other one was on B4, so we take it across and up, and we let it line up on B4, there's B4, so we mark it off there on B4. Then the last two, of course, were on point 0.6 and point 0.1. Now there's point 0.6, and there's point 0.1. And we're looking from the right-hand side, so we're going to see that entire hole, so we can go and draw that hole in in dark now, because we know that we're going to see it in our left view. Okay, there we go. So there's the hole. And now, of course, um, the part that was cut of our of us, our prism, we're going to have to go and find that as well. So that, of course, is on that point there where it was cut. Okay, we're going to have to take it from these two points here in our top view. So we're going to take that, that cut line 2, 3. So we project that across and then up to let it left our label here, that's meant to be 2. Okay, we take that up and see where it hits into line 2, 3. There are two 2, 3's. There's a 2, 3 there, so we know that it cuts there. And then there's another 2, 3. Okay, there's a 2, 3 over there. So we know that it cuts there. Well, sorry, my apologies. It only cuts on the 2, 3 at the top. We're not looking at the 2, 3 at the bottom. It only cuts on the 2, 3 at the top. So we only have that mark up there that we have to worry about. Okay, and then it cuts on 5, 4 at the top as well. Not at the bottom, don't make that mistake. Okay, it only cuts on 5, 4 at the top. Okay, the top cutting point, there's 5, 4 at the top. So our other point is over there. Okay, and then of course we know that it cut on point 5. Okay, on point 5 over there. That cutting point there, we are going to have to take across. There's our 5, that's where it cut on 5, so we take that across. And it cut there on 5, and it also cut there on 2, so we're going to mark that off. And then the other place that it cut was again on 6 and 1. 6 and 1 right at the bottom, so we're going to have to take those lines down there to 6 and to 1. Okay, so if we follow those in order go up from 1 to where it cuts on 2, from 1 to where it cuts on 2, and then from 2 to where it cuts at the top there, so from 2 where it cuts at the top, in order, and then it was a straight line across, so it will be a straight line across through to there, which we can go and draw in. And then from there, it went down to where it cut on line 5, so that would be there. And then from where it cut on line 5, it goes down to where it cuts on line 6, which of course is there, right at the bottom on the base. Okay, there we go. We have that cutting plane. Looks interesting. Okay, and then we've got to go and check here now what's been cut away. Okay, we can clearly see that top corner 6 and 1 
have been cut away and are gone. Also the top corner 5 and 2. So that 5 and 2 over there. Okay, I'm just going to erase that so that you don't get confused with that. That's now been cut away. That 5 and that 2. That's been cut off. Um, the 6 and the 1 at the moment is at the back. Oh, sorry, not the back, it's at the front, but it's cut away completely. So we're not going to see that 6 and that 1. And then... Well, of course, our two and our three at the our two and our five at the bottom here is still there. Okay, that's that two and five there that at the bottom is still there. So we're going to leave that in. So we can go and draw in what's going to be dark of the rest of our prism. Those two lines, and then of course the baseline, which is already there. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that. We just got to draw in our hatching. At a 45 degree angle, we're hatching all of this over here. Okay, because that's our entire cutting plane. And again, we're going to go with a nice big spacing between our hatching lines. Because again, we don't want to waste time. Because we're hatching a really big surface. So we're going to use nice big spaces. We're not going to go more than 7 millimeters between though. Nice big spaces. I'm going to try and keep them even. There we go. We've sectioned the whole of that. You don't section those two parts because they aren't part of the cutting plane at all. And then, of course, we have to go and include in our hidden detail. Okay, we're going to still have a hidden detail line here for the whole line going from B to 5. And you can see that clearly matches up with our, with our top view. Okay, actually that doesn't match up with our top view because from B to 5 here, that from B to 5, that is actually cut away. So we aren't actually going to see that. Okay, that B over there is actually on the inside and that's been cut away. So we're going to have to remove those. We can't actually see that B. You can clearly see over here that B, the apex there, has been cut away. So that point B from B to 5, from B to that corner there, you're not going to see a hidden detail line there at all. It's only going to be from the cutting point down to 5. Just be careful of that. Make sure that you take note of what's been cut away, which I should have done when going and drawing in my hidden detail. Now I've got to fix this. So just be careful of making that mistake. Okay, that distance, that part there shouldn't be hidden detailed at all because point B over there is actually cut off. Okay, and then on the inside over here, now we've got to go and check what we are going to see. Are we going to see from B to 6? Let's check. No, B to 6 has been cut off. It's over there. Are we going to see from B to 4? Yes, we will. There's B to 4 there. But we're not going to see from B to 4. We'll see only from where it hits the cutting point there to 4. And because this is a hole, we can actually see this at the back as a dark line. And the same thing is going to be true for the line from there to point 3. It's also at the back there on the inside of that hole, which we can see. And then over here for B to 2, that's also going to be a hidden detail line from there through to 2. Okay, so there we have it. We can see the inside part over there of the hole. Okay, it looks quite strange, but that is correct. Okay, and then this part over here is hidden detail behind our cutting plane. And that completes 
our sectional left view. We're now going to go to part three for the true shape of the cutting plane.